Hey there, I'm Mike from musicradiocreative.com. We often hear this in creative audio production, the rewind effect, but how to do it with just your voice. I'll show you. So it's pretty simple to create your own rewind effect. Let's start recording. I'm talking an absolute load of gibberish. This is absolute rubbish, totally crazy. I mean, I don't know what I'm saying. Really, I could say a ton of expletives, and you'd never know because very soon this is going to be an indiscernible uh, rewind effect. I don't even know why I'm bothering to say stuff anymore. Okay, that'll be enough for me to record and get started with. Now I'm going to take all of that audio, just trim out the start and the end. First, I am going to go to effects, and I'm going to reverse it all. Oh, I mean, if I see us near the malware, you know that. Now, I really could be saying all kinds of crazy stuff, and you would never know, would you? Rewind as a multi-track session. Drag this in. Oh, I mean, if I see us near the malware, you know that. Yeah, for now we. Yeah, it's a matter window. So how do we create that awesome rewind effect? Well, I'll show you. It's, it's very simple. What we will need to do is go into properties over here. And then for the stretch, of course, we've got all kinds of different stuff, including remix. Um, but I'm going to choose the mode. And you can choose all kinds of different mode. So I'm going to choose real time like that. And you've got monophonic, polyphonic, and very speed. Have a listen to the differences. If I stretch this now to be faster, let's make it around 50%. That's a monophonic stretch. Then we've got a polyphonic stretch. Sounds like this. Not much difference. Very speed is different, though. Have a listen. So that sounds like a rewind. So what we might do is we might take this and take a part of this. I'm going to take a part of this. So some parts I'm going to apply monophonic. Another part I'll apply polyphonic, but mainly I'll go for very speed because that gives us that sped up rewind sound. Okay, it sounds like crazy chipmunks, doesn't it? Now I'm going to add that all together on different tracks. Again, split that in two, like so, because it's a bit long, and put that there. Now, once I've got those all on different tracks, I'm going to pan right and left and right and left and right and left. Let's have a listen now. <laughs> Okay, that's fantastic. What I might do is just trim that in a bit so we've got everything starting at the same time. Okay, and I can hear that there's some rewind going on for longer than other bits, so let's try and keep it all the same length, like so. Okay, uh, finally, I'm going to go onto the master track and add a few effects to all of the above tracks. So if you add something to the master track, it applies to every single piece of audio in your multi-track. And I might go for a bit of chorus. Maybe just the, uh, let's go for a tiny pebble. That's good. And then I might go for a little bit of reverb as well, because that'll give it some presence. Let's go for the uh, vocal reverb medium and add a bit more dry. There we go. And then mix it down. Effects, multi-track, sorry, mix down entire session. And finally, I might go into effects special and I might master it a little bit. And there is a rewind effect that you can use when you say, what did he just say? Oh, he could be a very nice person. Uh, so have fun with it, rewinding all kinds of rewind effects that you can create with just your own voice right here inside Adobe Audition.